it's been a big week for us as a team yeah to win in front of our home crowd you know that's massive for us as a team you know we've got uh, obviously our home base here we've got designers and short team working incredibly long hours so it's a whole boost for everybody and most importantly to do it in front of the home crowd yeah well the duke and duchess have been backing us since day one with the, we're a new very new team they've been supporting us the whole way through the duchess is the patron of our 1851 trust and you know it's great for us to have that support because this team really is about uh, best of british trying to bring the cup home our maritime heritage and history and you know the royal family to have their support means a, a huge amount to all of us it was very close you know oracle did a really good job those last two races they sailed very well and we were hanging on we knew we had to get the second place and they were making it hard for us they're trying to push us back understandably um, but it was a real teamwork day and i thought the guys on our boat just worked so well the maneuvering and you know that really kept us in strong position yeah looking forward to toulon you know slightly different venue and conditions so uh, really getting towards the end of this world series now and everyone's you know really fighting for those bonus points that we get through to the America's Cup. So being in the top two is, is really important. Ultimately, winning it is, is what we're going for. And, you know, we've got to keep pushing now. We've got a, ourselves a small lead. We've got to try and see if we can extend that. Yeah, look, we came out and we did the best we could. I mean, we effectively won the Sunday, you know. Um, yeah, look, it just uh, it kind of came back to Saturday in that we we had a sixth place and Ben had a fifth on Saturday, and that's that was the point at the end. So... That's the way it goes. We've just got to keep our heads up and keep fighting and look forward to the next one. It doesn't get any better than this. I mean, a beautiful racetrack, lots of fans, great racing. So, yeah, today was fantastic. Yeah, look, it's, it, we're looking forward to Toulon. I think that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a great event. And, you know, I haven't raced there before, but a few of our guys have. And from what we've heard, it looks like great conditions. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. It is. It's uh, it's a real lift for everyone to, to see this many people turn out to, to watch what we love doing and you know to really enjoy all of that. It, it's great. And so, yeah, these boats are a challenge uh, to say the least to sail well because the the rudders are a bit short and the the setup and everything. You know, it's it, it is a challenge. But you know, the sailing today was great. 15, 16 knots, um, boats up on the foils and plenty of action. So it was really good to watch. No, we were um, we're happy to come away with a, an, another podium to sort of back up Chicago with a you know another good result. Um, I think we we know we can still be a, a lot better. You know, I don't think we felt we probably sailed as well as we could have at times. Um, made a few little mistakes, but yeah, you know, we didn't didn't have any real bad races this, this event, and, and that was uh, that was quite you know, pleasing for me. Well, that's the that, that's the goal for us. It's uh, as a new team, it's one year since we started um, racing um, together, and um, yeah, to you know, be focused on Bermuda next year. Well, yeah, you know, I think with um, Fuku and the guys in the team, yeah, it's uh, it is very much about just just slowly developing and making sure that when the America's Cup or the Challenger Selection Series start next year, that we're good to go and a lot of work still to do but between now and then. Yeah, more on. Ma, manzoku shite nai bubun te arimasu kero do mo, ano, hobo manzoku shite mas. いや、yeah, look, a, a really great day of racing today and yesterday as well, to be fair. We've had some fantastic conditions, you know, both varied days of varied conditions. Um, for us as a, as a basically a new group sailing together, um, really, really proud of the guys, you know, getting the, the boat around the track as well as we did. Um, for myself, normally, you know, wing trimming role to go back and, and steer the boat was a fantastic experience and also for the other guys on board to have two new guys coming into the team to offer them the experience of this type of racing environment was, um, I think, great. And for the depth of our team going forwards in the future, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to bring in some, some new blood effectively into the team. And obviously with Peter and Blair getting ready for, the, ready for their uh, 49er Olympic program uh, coming up very shortly, uh, you know, they were, they were missed here, obviously. But um, at the end of the day, some great experience for the other guys coming in. And the depth of talent that we had, I, I think, is, uh, is going to be great for, for heading towards next year. 
Absolutely. Look, the support was fantastic and I think the, the, the British people have certainly put on a fantastic show. The weather was really, really great and uh, you know the conditions were fantastic. So we're very, very pleased with the support we had and, and a lot of Kiwis in the crowd as well. So it was, it was fantastic to see. Yeah, look, France is going to be fantastic. I've done quite a, little, a lot of sailing uh, around that area of Toulon and um, beautiful sailing conditions there most of the time. So uh, we're all really looking forward to getting down to France uh, you know, in five or six weeks' time. It should be fantastic fun. No, I think it's. Um, we didn't expect to perform well here. It was always going to be tough for Francesco. With the way the rules are written, you'd get zero practice. And so he'd never sailed this boat before. I often think what would it be like if you turned up in a Formula One car on the grid at a Grand Prix, you were going to do quite badly. And certainly today we were, you know, very out of control on the, the boat. But in the big picture, I mean, it's great for Francesco to get some racing in and he gets um, that race sharpness as we go back to the program in Bermuda. Yeah, I mean, the British are very much into sailing. When I grew up through the 80s, 90s, everyone was, you know, embracing sailing. It was the biggest sport in the UK. And that show today, there's a lot of us who love sailing in this country and I hope they all enjoyed it today. In France, they all have to learn to sail at school, so everyone understands about the sea and understands about sailing, so I think you have a real informed crowd. So I'm hoping we'll have another spectacle of sailing like this. Aujourd'hui, c'était pas bien. C'était pas bien, ouais, ouais. Les conditions sont différentes. On sait que c'est c'est des conditions où on doit encore beaucoup travailler. Alors on a fait des trucs bien, mais c'est où on a beaucoup pêché. C'était sur les départs. On a fait on a fait trois mauvais départs. On a on n'a pas bien ajusté notre tactique d'approche sur sur les départs et du coup on est un peu parti en deuxième ligne à chaque fois, ce qui rend la, la régate assez difficile. Euh, forcément, après, je trouve qu'on a fait des, des meilleures manœuvres, des, des meilleures vitesses au portant euh, par rapport à ce qu'on a pu faire à Chicago, mais, mais euh, ça ne s'est pas vu sur les résultats parce que, parce que cette phase de départ était, était euh, clairement mauvaise et, et on doit en refaire pour, pour éviter euh, de tomber dans ces pièges-là. <rire> oui, exactement, mais on a essayé d'appliquer la même technique aujourd'hui, mais les conditions ont changé et on n'a pas... On était un peu en retrait pour, pour partir de plus loin, mais on n'a jamais trouvé de bonnes opportunités pour partir. Et donc, on est resté derrière la, la première ligne. Euh, C'est sûr, sûr que ça n'aide pas, même si ça ne fait pas toute la régate, ça n'aide ça pas. Et, et on est moins à l'aise ensuite en vitesse et en manœuvre que ce qu'on était hier dans, dans les conditions d'hier. Euh, à Toulon, il peut tout y avoir. Euh, les conditions, ça peut être du vent avec de la mer plate ou ou du petit temps avec, euh, avec un peu de, de clapot. Donc, euh, donc on ne sait pas comment on va être mangé là-bas, mais, euh, mais on est très content de, de participer à cet événement en France et de montrer de quoi on est capable euh, à, la, à la foule française qui sera, j'espère, bien présente à Toulon. Okay, merci.